Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So today I thought it would be fun to try and breed breeding unique outcomes from scratch. So by taking some horses, just the normal plain horses, and trying to get a breeding unique outcome. So that is what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and head on over to Francine. And then first up we are going to try and get the Bay Brindle. And then if you're wondering what Bay Brindle looks like, it looks like this. So one of the ways that you can get it is by doing a Rabicano coat um, plus a Bay coat. So that is what we're going to be doing. And then it can be any Bay, but we're going to use this one here. And then as you can see on the bottom, there is a 2.44% chance of a breeding unique outcome. Um, so let's hope that we can get that. If I get any other of these outcomes, it's not really that good. So let's go ahead and breed. Oh, it didn't pop up in the chat, so we don't have any luck. Alright, we just got a normal chestnut Rabicano Arabian. So our first one was a fail, disappointingly. Um, but I will be back after cooldown and we will try again with a different coat. Alrighty guys, we are back. And next up, we are going to be trying to breed the Chocolate Palomino coat. If you're wondering what Chocolate Palomino looks like, it looks like this. I still may need to make a set for this girl, but I am planning on doing so in the future, but this is her. So for this, you need a liver chestnut horse. So we'll go ahead and use my horse Red Riding Hood. And then you also need either a gold black Palomino or pearl coat. So I could do Flynn and we could get it, or I could do like Leaf, or I could do some Pearl Horse that I have. Actually, I don't have a stallion of that. Um, I think that will do Flynn, and then we'll go ahead and breed these two. As you can see, there's a breeding unique, and let's go ahead and hope that we get it. We'll clear the chat so that if we get it, it pops up. Man, we didn't get it. It didn't pop up. Oh, but we did get a gold black Frisian. Honestly, I think I'm going to grow this one up because that's kind of cute. That is definitely kind of cute. To be honest, I don't know if I've ever been able to like actually breed a breeding unique outcome from scratch before. But look at this horse. Oh, this is actually so cute. And then like look at the little feet. Oh, this is adorable. A successful fail. <laughs> that's what we'll call this one we'll call this a successful fail um but was what i was saying is i don't think i've ever bred a breeding unique outcome from scratch before i think i've gotten most of them from trade or like just i don't know if i've actually ever bred one from scratch before and if i did i honestly don't remember um but yeah this was our lovely little filly that we got well i guess she's a mare now but successful fail. Anyways, we'll be back after cooldown to try and breed another. We have returned and this time we are going to be trying to get a gray brindle. This is what the gray brindle coat looks like. It's a pretty cool looking one and then this is my horse Smokey. So what we need is a grula coat plus a gray coat. Now there's also a bunch of different options um, that you can do for these unique outcomes. Like you don't need a grula and any gray coat but that's just one of the ways that you can get it there's a lot of different ways that you can get these coats um what gray horse should we do we could do graphite or blue or bolt i think we're gonna do bolt and then let's see yep breeding unique outcome here at the bottom and then here's our possible options hoping that we either get this coat or we get the unique outcome so let's go ahead and breed oh we didn't get it again to philly oh man we just got a regular mustang unfortunately another fail this isn't going too well besides this one this one was our successful fail um but yeah anyways gotta wait for cooldown again and i will see you guys back we are back. This time we are going to be trying to get the Sooty Buckskin Breeding Unique Outcome. This is what the Sooty Buckskin coat looks like. And then this is my horse Esme. And it looks pretty good with the leopard pattern items if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and go over and breed. Um, So for this we need any buckskin coat. So I think that we will do butternut. Butternut is golden buckskin. 
and then we also need a dapple coat okay so for this i think that we are going to do my horse blue so we've got these two horses here oh and they're both akultechi coats um and then as you can see at the bottom breeding unique outcome um so let's go ahead and breed these guys hopefully we can actually get a success it is a oh we still didn't get it colt and we just got an Akultechi with the golden buckskin. Okay, well, I mean, it is an island unique coat at least, but it's still not the breeding unique outcome we wanted. All right, you guys, next up we are going to be doing the black reverse dapple, or trying to at least. Um, so for this one, we need a dapple gray overo and then a black coat. So here's our dapple gray overo. This is hyacinth. And then we need a black coat. I think that we will do, oh, I could do prism or I could do aquamarine. I think we're going to do aquamarine. That would be pretty cool. And then there's our breeding unique outcome at the bottom. Let's go ahead and breed these two. See what we get. Do we get it? <gasps> we got it. <gasps> Look, I saw it in the chat. Lemon Plays Roblox bred a breeding unique horse coat. <gasps> finally, 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 you guys. So we got that. I think that this is the first one that I've actually bred from scratch, like I was saying before. How amazing is this? And then we got it on an Arabian. <gasps> How pretty. Oh, we got it. And then this is what the coat looks like. Um, I have another horse, and I also think that it's Arabian. Yeah, I do, so I'm not going to bother growing that one up. Here's my horse, Amethyst, um, with that coat, and it's a very pretty looking coat. Um, so yeah, finally, we got a success. Happy that we were able to get one in this video, but we are going to be trying again. I think we'll do maybe one more breed, and yeah, I will see you guys back after the cooldown once again. Alrighty guys, we are back and for our final breed we are tr going to be trying to get the Black Splash Overo um, coat. Don't mind me on Jungle Island but I forgot to record this one. But here is what the Black Splash Overo coat looks like and then this is my horse button. So let's go ahead and add our horses. First up we need um, a Black Overo horse which is a Mustang coat I believe. Yep, there we go. And then we also need, well, I mean, there's a few options, but we are going to be doing the Black Rabicano. I either have this Arabian or I have this Frisian, and the Frisian seems to have a cooler mane, so we're going to go ahead and do that one, um, hoping that we get, like, this outcome, um, or, of course, the breeding unique outcome. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and breed them. It is a Colt. <gasps> No, guys, this was like the worst outcome, but I mean, it did get the gold, black, mane, and tail, but still, that was pretty bad. All right, well, we got one success, and that is what we are happy about, and then one successful fail um, with our other coat. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. There's definitely a lot more really unique outcomes, so I may or may not make a part two. Uh, again, may or may not, so I don't know if I will, but if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.